Hi everyone, it's Rio Cloud Sync. In today's session, we'll look at Microsoft Security Copilot, what it is, how does Security Copilot work, and how it will benefit your organization. Microsoft Security Copilot is currently an early access program, i.e. private preview, and only available to a limited number of partners. With the recent highlight of Microsoft 365 Copilot being our generative AI assistance for our apps for enterprise or apps for business, we were able to justify our return of investment, which was either time, time saved or increased productivity. We're now looking at a slightly different focus within the Microsoft Service portfolio, which is the security piece, being, in, being able to integrate our different Microsoft security solutions, i.e. the likes of Microsoft Defender, Microsoft Sentinel, which is our Seam solution, Microsoft Engine, which is our MDM and MAM, and Microsoft Security Copilot, which is our orchestration service. So what is Microsoft Security Copilot? So the orchestration service you see in the middle, we're going to be able to understand what this is and how it works. So Microsoft Security Copilot is a generative AI um, written solution that helps increase not only efficiency, um, but capabilities of your internal security personnel and defenders to improve security outcomes at machine speed and scale while remaining compli compliant uh, within responsible AI principles and um, governance regulations. Security Copilot provides a natural language. It is a generative AI, um, and it also provides assistive uh, Copilot experience that helps not only support security professionals in end-to-end -end scenarios, but also incident response, threat hunting, intelligence gathering, and posture management. Once again, the solution is in the early access stage, um, so some of these capabilities may not be available, however, however, this will be available at some point. The solution leverages the full power of OpenAI, so on the right hand side you see Azure OpenAI, and this is fu fundamentally where it's grounded, the Azure OpenAI instance, and this is the architecture it leverages to generate response to a user uh, prompts by using security specific plugins, including organizational specific information, authoritative sources, and global threat intelligence uh, data. By using plugins as a data point source, security professionals have a wider visibility into threats and gain more contents and have the opportunity to extend the solution functionalities beyond the existing Microsoft solutions we see on the left hand side here. However, like I said, the primary focus for the early access program is centered around incident response okay, within these security solutions here. Being able to increase security posture management, okay, so being able to gather informative event information, uh, which may expose your organization to a known threat, and also enhance security reporting. Um, so it's able to generate a ready to share um, executive summary or report on security invest investigations or disclosed vulnerabilities um, or threat actors and their campaigns. So how does Security Copilot work? Well, we've got a slight um, uh, data flow here um, in terms of the, the encryption piece, uh, which is encrypted through HTTPS or AES, um, and the workflow from one to six here. Uh, but we're going to run through this in more of a, a, a practical uh, demonstration. Microsoft Security Copilot uh, can be accessed through um, the standalone service, which is um, securitycopilot.microsoft.com, and you can search that in the URL and it will take you to the unified um, UX. Um, alternatively, it's embedded within the, the platforms itself and works as a generative AI assistance in that, in that case. The foundational uh, language model uh, and Microsoft technologies work together in an underlying system that helps increase the efficiency and capabilities of your, your, your staff to increase the security outcomes across Microsoft security solutions such as Defender XDR, okay, Microsoft Sentinel, like I said, which is your, your SIEM solution, Microsoft Intune, your MDM and MAM, and uh, seamlessly with the Copilot orchestration service. There are some embedded experiences available with Microsoft security um, so, uh, solutions that provide users with access to the security Copilot and prompting capabilities in the context of their work within those solutions. We also have plugins from Microsoft and third party security products, uh, means to extend and integrate services with Security Copilot itself. Just like we have with Microsoft 365 Copilot, we have the graph connectors as well as the, the web plugins. Uh, same principle applies for Security Copilot. We're also able to ingest, ingest um, support third party solutions um, such as ServiceNow, for example. 
Security Copilot also has access to threat intelligence and authoritative content uh, through plugins. These plugins can search through Microsoft Defender threat intelligence articles and Intel profiles. Um, Defender XDR itself uh, provides for analytic reports and vulnerability disclosure publications, among others. So in terms of how, how it works in terms of workflow, so we have these services, we have the security copilot orchestration system. Um, generally, there's a user prompt from, from one of these security products and they're sent to security copilot okay, itself. Security copilot then uh, pre-processes uh, through the grounding stage, which you, if you're familiar with Microsoft 365 Copilot, uh, same principle applies here to the graph. Okay, um, the input prompt through an approach called grounding, uh, and that, that pretty much improves the uh, the accuracy of the prompt to help you get answers that are relevant and um, actionable to to your prompt itself. It accesses plugins for for the, within the pre-processing stage, and then sends the modified prompt to the large language model in return. And this is the LLM over here. This is able to interpret the, the, the data in the context of your, your prompt. Um, then Security Copilot then takes um, the response from the large language model and then post processes it. This post process includes access to plugins to gain uh, contextualized information. Um, and then Security Copilot in the end uh, returns that back to the, the user uh, where the user can review and uh, assess the, the response itself. Security Copilot um, orchestrates these sophisticated services, like I said, to help produce results that are relevant to your organization uh, because they're contextually based on your organizational data um, and resides within the Microsoft Security Service boundary, uh, just like the uh, Microsoft 365 Copilot, where it sits and resides within the Microsoft Service boundary. And once more, all the processing um, of data um, abides by GDPR uh, standards and laws, um, as well as the European Union data boundary. Um, if your tenant sits and resides within the uh, EU, it will process the data within the EU. EU. Anything outside of that, it will process it within the, um, uh, the, the US or um, organizational standards. Um, and that's Microsoft Security Copilot. Um, any other questions, please let me know. Uh, this was just a quick high level understanding of Microsoft Security Copilot itself. Thank you very much.